I thought I had picked up two of these that day out of that trash pile. Here's the second one. This is the Duo Phone TAD 252 Dual Micro Cassetti Telephone Answering System Telephone. I knew I had a second one, I just couldn't remember where I had put it. Now I found it, and we just have to hope it works. So, this one has tapes. One of them is the Realistic branded, and the other is the Panasonic branded. I hope these have messages on there. And I hope the messages are from a long time ago. It looks like... It looks like both tapes are rewound, which of course would make sense if the thing is operating correctly. But there could still be messages on there to be heard. So, let's see if I can get this to play anything. Ugh, this one may work less than the other one did. Is the thing on? It's on. This doesn't seem to want to do anything. Oh, there it goes. Hello, you've reached the law office of attorney. Now, this was never meant to be on a stand, so I guess we'll just not put it on a stand. kind of playing. Now it seems to be froze again. What is with these daggone tape machines? I guess if this was in a commercial environment it probably doesn't have any interesting messages on there. It's the ones that, from the home that are interesting. Whoa, that was crazy. I wanted to play the incoming messages. There it goes. I don't hear anything though. Doesn't even sound like the speaker is activated. The handset's kind of off the. Hi. Oh, we got messages. Hello, Mr. Rewind from here. 800 Okay, this is going to be an editing nightmare. 
but I will I will play these messages and I will record them and I will spend probably two hours editing the phone numbers and names out but I'll do it I just listened to all the messages and recorded them there was messages on both side A and side B the ones on side B were pretty neat they had some talk about pagers and other things from the era side A didn't have anything of too much interest but I will go through those and cut out all the phone numbers and names and I'll post those eventually I don't know when because that's going to take some time to do that but anyways this machine seems like it may be working so let's see if we can set this up to use it now this door keeps getting all messed up though there's definitely some problems here but if the internals work I could always swap them you know out with the other case because the other shell is a little bit nicer oh, there we go okay of course I need to get back in there now um, let's record this announcement nope that's not what it should be doing Am I just using it wrong? Let's see here. To record the announcement, press record announcement that winds the tape to the beginning. Okay. Stop. Record announcement. Hello. That's cool. The light's not coming on when I press record announcement. Let's turn it off and turn it back on again. And the light still wasn't illuminating. Do I have to turn it on first? Okay, now that light turned on. Let's stop that. Stop. It's like partially working. Do toll saver. Not sure what it's doing now. It's playing something, I guess. The answer light isn't coming on, so I tend to think that we're having a problem here. Then the other one, the answer light would come on. There is a battery in here though. It's not saying it's low, but I find it hard to believe it wouldn't be. Well, it was made in the Japan, so maybe it does still work. Oh, there we go. Maybe the handset just was kind of out of the cradle. Now it seems like it wants to work. Hello. 
Now it seems like it wants to work. Hello, this is the hardware store. We're all out of micro cassettes. Please call again later. Hello, this is the hardware store. We're all out of micro cassettes. Please call again later. Hmm. It seems like it's ready to work now. Okay. Let's see if it's going to work. Well, the phone segment doesn't seem to work. Either that or this cord is spoiled. Or the line cord isn't plugged in. <laughs> Most likely that's why it's not working. Uh... Okay, that's cool. I unplugged all this stuff. This is why you don't assume and jump to conclusions. I think in this case I'm just going to bring this wire over here and plug it in. I have to get an adapter and it's going to be more difficult. Okay. This is going to be a problem. It doesn't seem like it sits in there quite right. You know what? This is probably the wrong handset. Where's the handset that was with the other phone? Oh yeah, this is totally the wrong handset. For heaven's sakes, that's why it's not fitting in there, right? This is the correct handset. And that fits in there with no problem. It also works. All right. Okay, that was difficult. Goose, goose. One, two, three. This does work. All right, let's start with the message machine because that's what I'm most intrigued by. I don't know if that's working or not. It is grabbing the line. It's not transmitting the numbers though. It's not transmitting the numbers regardless. Did hit a one just there. Not sure if the buttons are dirty or they don't work. Huh. Can't imagine there's a setting to to turn the uh, buttons off. We just got a two. Now it 
as we DOA. What the heck did I do here? And there we go, we're back. So this phone's pretty flaky. Still no buttons. Well, let's test the answering machine because then we seem to be able to do that. Testing, one, two, three, testing the micro cassette telephone. It'd be a daggone shame if this phone, the message machine works, and then the other phone, the phone portion works, and I can't use either one of them. Although it is possible that those two components is interchangeable, because it seems like the answering machine component is completely separate of the telephone. Oh, I should have had this open so we could see it recording. But oh well. Come on. Okay, this is a feedback freak show. Oh my goodness, turn that volume down. Testing, one, two, three, testing the micro cassette telephone. It'd be a daggone shame if this phone, the message machine works, and then the other phone, the phone portion works, and I can't use either one of them. Although it is possible that those two components is interchangeable, because it seems like the answering machine component is completely separate of the telephone. Okay, so it looks like this answering machine works. I don't know why the phone itself is so flaky. Now there's no sound again on the phone. I think the other one was behaving kind of similarly where the sound would fade in and out in the handset. I don't think there's a problem with this cord, but let's just swap it with another one to confirm. Huh, now it's working. If I put this cord in the testing phone, is it still spoiled? This cord is the spoiled. Okay, well that's got to get a uh, new lens on it or something. Let's see if I have another cord in here. Um, geez, what happened to all the phone cords? Well, anyways. Oh, now this is no audio again. But it did seize the line. Hmm. I don't know what's going on with this thing. No audio. Nope, no audio at all. Let's see, is it transmitting? Transmit test, one, two, three. Nope, it's not transmitting either. Alright, so I'm not sure what's wrong with this phone. Now it's just like not interacting with the line at all. Alright, I don't know what's going on with this thing. By the way, um, answering machine works, that's kind of cool. It had some neat messages on there. 
I'm going to have to, to evaluate this other one again and see if perhaps I can combine these two to get one that works.